Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews and on-site training. In this episode, I want to discuss a relatively obscure topic, and that is local functions. And one reason why it's obscure is, well, local functions aren't actually possible in C++ normally. All right, so let's start with what a local function is. It's quite simply a function declared inside of another function. Well, no, that's not true. We can declare a function inside of a different function all day long. We can't define a function inside of another function in C++. So if I do this, it gives me this uh, remove parentheses to default initialize, blah, blah, blah a variable, uh, disambiguated, a function declaration. So it's giving me warnings that aren't really appropriate to what I'm trying to do here. But then I get this, a function definition is not allowed here before the open brace token. Okay, so I'm trying to do a function definition and it's telling me that I can't do that. And, you know, some of the times this kind of thing could be handy, like if I wanted to have some sort of function that's only used in a local scope, then I might do this. That's not possible. Interestingly, it is actually possible to do this. So I could create an object of my struct and I could call get value on it. So this is a local class. Local classes have been possible since C++ 98. That's a little unwieldy and a little obnoxious. Of course, since this doesn't use any member data, I could make this a static function. And then I don't have to create an object of type my struct. I could instead do this. And that's going to work fine. But again, I have to scope it and that's a little obnoxious. I should be able to do this to pull the function into my local scope. Can I do that? No. Declaration for member at non-class scope. Okay, so I'm not allowed to do that, unfortunately. Okay, so this is what we can do. Now, of course, if we wanted, we could just name the function get value, and then we could make this a call operator overload, but unfortunately the call operator must be non-static member function. Now this might be changing in C++ 23, but we don't have that option at the moment. Actually, let's check on that. Okay, I just confirmed that that is not yet possible in C++ 23. This becomes weird, but I could kind of do something like this. I'm creating an object of type get value with the first set of parens, and then I am executing its call operator member function with the second set of parens, and then I get 42 returned. So this is, you know, kind of cool. And if you wanted to use algorithms back in C++ 98 days, you would find yourself trying to do this kind of thing. So we would decide that we wanted to do like a find algorithm across a vector or something like that. we would find ourselves doing something like this. And this is going to return the first value that is less than 42. Now I am compiling in C++ 20 mode. So let's just do a little blast to the past and put this in C++ 98 mode.
And we would run into an error similar to this. Template argument for template, blah, 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 uses local type main get value. So our local classes were not allowed to actually be used inside of templates in C++ 98. So that was hugely annoying. And we needed a callable thing to pass into the algorithm, but we didn't have any way of creating this callable thing. And that was, like I said, just really annoying. So we ended up having to put these things outside of the function so that we could actually get it to work. And if we try that here, we should see that it works in C++ 98 mode, and it does. It's just that we're not allowed to use a local class as a template parameter. What a pain in the rear. And of course, this is all just random discussion about local functions and how you might create and use local functions in C++. But of course, because we all know our handy friend, the Lambda, which was added in C++ 11, that we can very easily just write a little Lambda function that does this comparison for us. And effectively, the compiler has done the exact same thing for us by creating a class that contains a function that we're allowed to use in this template context of an algorithm. So appreciate the Lambda. And if you weren't quite clear as to why a Lambda works in this situation, then you should go check out all of my previous episodes on like, what is a Lambda exactly anyhow. And I hope you just enjoyed this random diversion and aside into the C++ standard. And by the way, this particular episode was inspired by Henry, who sent me a note saying that I should cover the fact that lambdas are a good replacement for local functions because, well, local functions don't really exist in C++. So thanks, Henry, for that suggestion. Mm -hmm.